Chairman of the Libyan Ambulance Services in Tripoli says about 50 people have been killed and nearly 160 others injured during clashes that broke out in the Libyan capital this week, prompting concerns of a return to widespread violence. In an interview, Osama Ali did not rule out recurrence. He says ambulances are already strategically positioned to avert fatality. We have a report. Clashes broke out on Monday and Tuesday between the Special Deterrence Force combating terrorism and organized crime and the 444 Brigade in Tripoli, Libya. Neither the Ministry of Health nor the Emergency Department has announced official figures and they are the only parties authorized to communicate with all hospitals to compile the numbers of those affected. Local media say clashes have ended in several areas in the capital, Tripoli, after leaders of the 444 Brigade received assurances on the release of their commander, Mahmoud Hamza, and his return to his military camp, following his detention by al Rada forces while heading towards Misrata on Monday. Head of the Government of National Unity, Abdul Hamid al Deba ordered the formation of a panel to estimate the damage done to citizens' property following the Tripoli clashes. The Libyan government media platform says that al Deba asked the Minister of Local Government to take all the necessary measures as the panel is set to assess and estimate the required compensations to submit its report within a week. Director of the Libyan Red Crescent, Moaz al-Gariani, says that more than 200 families were evacuated from the conflict area. Zimbabwe's opposition leader Nelson Chamisa is promising to transform the nation if elected president. He is of the belief that he will lead Zimbabwe to economic prosperity. The 45-year-old politician, who is an ordained pastor, trained lawyer and leader of the Citizens Coalition for Change, Zimbabwe's main opposition, has leaned into all three positions over the last 20 years in a quest to alter the political landscape of the Southern African country. In 2018, Mr. Chamisa garnered 2.2 million votes and said he won the poll, but that it was rigged by President Emerson Mangagwa, who was declared victor with 2.46 million votes. The rematch this August is being framed by pundits and Nelson Chamisa himself as a David and Goliath tie since the governing ZANU-PF has won every election since Mr. Zimbabwe's, in the, Zimbabwe's independence from the United Kingdom in 1980. His social media accounts have been full of prayers and Bible verses as Mr. Chamisa transplants charisma from the pulpit to his party's rallies.